If you're here for goofs and gaffs, have a listen and have a laugh. These four schmoes here run the show. It's JKT Radio. Hi guys and welcome to JKT Radio episode 130. We made it. We got past one, two, three, four. I'm proud of myself. You did There's it. an arm flying around on the screen. Ah, that's why. And you know what? I'm crazy. I'm insane. I've broken every bone in my body, I feels like, today. So I want to be kinds of aliens. Because aliens. Now, can this be... Because why real? not? I was, gonna say, like, I was about to ask like, if we're talking about real aliens or fake aliens, and I realized like, we've not met a real alien. Or aliens from movies. Or, like... Any, from any specific thing? I was gonna say there's aliens. I picked aliens. Ali- like, like, take that wherever you want to. I'm gonna pick Turians because they're hot. God damn it! Oh, I, see I was gonna pick Turians. <laughs> and I'm trying but to find my other they're aliens. Because they're bird people, but you know what? It's a joke. Chris, give me an alien. Thor. However you want to interpret. It. That's I'll true. Take it. That's true. Yep. McBride. I'm gonna do something. Because I've been watching it and it's heckin' hilarious, but he doesn't really say what type of alien he is, but he is the resident alien. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> from resident from resident alien. <laughs> they keep that up alien. here. They do. They do. They show, I, I've dropped, they show a lot of shit. I've up here. dropped off the set a bunch of times. Yeah, I can imagine so. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, we have to talk about that alien. afterwards. <laughs> um. um so many though. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with the xenomorph from Aliens. Nice, nice. All right. So I was like literally. <laughs> wait, wait, one sec. Yeah. I was this close to telling <coughs> people, getting people to pick memes, and I was gonna go aliens. Aliens. <laughs> this close. <laughs> we, we know what our thumbnail's gonna be. Aliens. <laughs> It's not even gonna be like the alien meme. It's gonna be all four of us just aliens. Well, actually, no. Top text, it could bottom be text. The alien memes, but instead of the guy, it's lemon. Oh Christ! <laughs> lemon is clickbait. Lemon is clickbait. I can, I can, lemon. I could probably make that work as well. <laughs> lemon, I require your assistance. Here. Don't just bang your butt at me, woman. Come here. Yes. But yes, Devin, settle a dispute for me. Uh oh. Because you said you 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 gave you um but uh, yes. I've lost all of my words but yes you know what I mean um, yes but I've dropped off to Resident Alien thank you that's what I was they, trying they, to say they shoot in Vancouver well, not they sh- they shot some episodes in Van- like downtown Vancouver but like the town do you know where that is isn't that up in Squ- by Squamish that's yeah. what Vic says but I remember seeing a sign that said Lady Smith. I'm, that's by Squamish, isn't it? No, I no. thought it was the other side. Oh, is it the other side? Yeah, it's like Squamish. more east. So, admittedly, I have not actually watched Resident Alien. Well, god damn it! <laughs> However, uh, my parents do, and I've heard a fair amount about it. I'm going to say... I think it's a collection of different spots. I would imagine so, yeah. The distance from Squamish to Ladysmith is 109 kilometers. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's a bit of a ways. 191, sorry. It's a bit of a ways. I was like, they're not that close. Ladysmith is closer to Nanaimo. What? Yeah, like that's it's yeah. That, yeah. I know, but I do know they shot a lot in Squamish. I used to yep. live out in Nanaimo um, or in near near Ladysmith. And they also. Harvey wants to say, um, uh, old, well, depending on where I you almost called it Old Town Langley, um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Downtown Langley? Yeah, Old Town Langley, exactly. Old Town Langley, that's just what I'm going to call it. Wait, yeah, Langley? yeah, it is now forever known as Old Town Langley. Yeah. Lemon. Hold on. Are, you, are there two? No, 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 no. Are there two squamishes or two ladysmiths? No. Uh, no. Okay. 
Lady Smith and Squamish are nowhere near each other. Lady Smith is on Vancouver Island. Yes, yes, that's where it is. Squamish is like that's almost like you said like Lady Smith and Squamish were close together. I'm like the fuck they are. <laughs> They're on different islands. Well, it's all relative, I suppose. No, no, it's not. <laughs> like it's when really we get to, when it comes, Lady Smith is closer Wait. to Squamish than let's say. Argentina. Well, sure! <laughs> but, Lady yes. Smith is also closer to Russia than the fucking moon! Yeah. Well, I... Okay, so I know what to do to get Chris to project. <laughs> what? <laughs> is I have been make freed. stupid-ass statements like the one I just made. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not disagreeing with you when you say that it's far away. It is. But I would also say it's all technically relative. But yes. Sure! So is life! <laughs> I, I love during this whole ranting process, I've just been sitting here with the I dogs. know, I know. <laughs> I just, Lemon's just, just saying it out. You're just like, I, I sense the yelling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also closer to dead than I am. Well, nope, I can't make that joke. Please don't set, make that joke. I was gonna say also be closer to being we dead. We have than, a life I, together. I, 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 I almost said I'm closer to being dead than I am the Queen of England. Like, well, actually, no, those are the same thing. So, oh, oh, who's on the wrong side? Well, we are oh, not getting monetized in the UK. Well, it's a good thing YouTube's an American company. That's true. That's very true. Mm -hmm. Um. I need to fucking circle these places now. Babe, I do believe you when you say that. I know, but I have away. to prove it. Alrighty. You don't have to. I have you, to. You, you, no, no, no. You don't have, I to. have to. You feel the need you to. You feel the, to. the urge to. I have to. <laughs> Here we go. I finally got it. You can have Perfect. the aliens pose now. Perfect. That's the best <laughs> face. Oh, that's the absolute <laughs> best <laughs> face! Oh my god, the best girl. You get the ball now. And you miss. <laughs> and, wow, all that all that suspense twice. <laughs> Hit him with a third time. Yep, there it is. I well, I went from being the quietest person to peeking. <laughs> oh boy, several times. Yeah, finally got it. She go. did it, guys. <laughs> it took like seven times. <laughs> All right, oh, now dear. everyone go sit down. It's bedtime. Yeah. It is bedtime. We are fashionably late in regards to this recording. Like, yeah, this one's I coming should, out should, late. Uh, <laughs> fair warning. My boys, I'm recovering from the cold. Yes. Yes, you are. Well, there. You thing. said it. You did it. Right. Did you really actually circle the two? Yeah, of course yeah, they, they did. They did. And post Chris it. does not half-ass things like this. Oh, that is half-assed. I didn't get my tablet and draw it drop neatly. Ma'am. 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 I'm afraid. Sorry, the man was to lemon. There is nothing I won't <laughs> do to prove a point. Don't you dare. We run down the street and you're shit. naked. Okay, there are several things I wouldn't do to prove a point. <laughs> My aunt's done that I, before. I am not, I am not Brennan Lee Mulligan. Did Brennan... My dad did that once. No, yeah. there's, a, there's a quote. She did it, it on a bet. <laughs> so did my dad. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I'm not surprised. But no, there's a quote. There's, like, there's not a corner of my soul I would not turn over for five points or something like that. It's a very Brennan Lee Mulligan. Oh, These people don't God know who Brennan Lee Mulligan is. That's okay. There's a niche part of our audience that will. Get out of here, go on. There's like 36 people, someone's gonna know. Oh yeah. We're we're part of our own audience, so at least one person knows, that's Chris. We do. I know. We, we, it, we have it, fallen down another rabbit hole. So here's the thing, it is d d it's not critical role. Wow, a d, &D still... thing that's not critical role? It's I'm surprised that exists. Oh, that oh, good sir. <laughs> there is a lot. 
but I literally don't think I have enough time in my life to get into many other <laughs> D&D podcasts. Yeah, because there's Mad Talk, there's Dimension 20, there's the Adventure Zone, there's... I do actually advise watching the first series of the Adventure Zone is well worth it. I don't know about the others because I stopped, but the first the, main is it, game is it campaign. That balance? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the balance. I, I've always heard the balance is good. Um, that was that is the best one. What are the others? I don't know about the others. There's well, obviously there's Google. There's uh, I think the rest of I've heard of a bunch of others. Just holding it in my head. There's a lot. Several of them started before Critical Role. They did. Like, I think... I think the Adventure Zone started before Critical Role. Yep. The Adventure Zone was well on its way when we started learning how to play D&D, Chris. Yeah. So that's what I was listening to on my walks to your house. I feel like we started also, like, only a couple years after 5e came out. We did. Because we started... Oh, were still brand new. Yeah, we were starting to play, like, in 2016, I think. And uh, 5e came out in 2014. 5e came out the year I learned how to play at PAX. Yeah. It is that long ago. Yeah. It's funny because it doesn't seem like 2016 was that long ago, but you actually do the math on it, and it's like, oh, dear. I don't want to do the math on it. 20, 5e came out the year I graduated well, actually, no. We 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 didn't start playing together in 2016. We met. Oh at yeah, the you're tail right. You're right. Yeah, no, we started playing in like 2017. Yeah, that would be 2017. You're yeah. thinking of. At that point, is a year really that big of a difference? Coming to COVID, yes. That is true. Yes. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. It, yeah <laughs> a year can make a can year a year can make or break a decade. Did you forget that they that there are stores that made the Crisis D twenty no, for twenty twenty? No, no, it's it's not stores. It is the singular Stormcrow. Nope, this is not the Stormcrow was not the only person to do this. Uh, really? There are multiple brands well, of these. The but remember, yeah, the Stormcrow. Nope, there's still one left back east. Ah. The not the original. The back east one got to stay open a lot longer than ours did. Well, of course, of course, because you know. And ours was the ours was the original. That's but yeah, bad. so remember, they filled oh, every yeah. side of a D20 I, for 2020 and still had extra stuff that they could not fit on yeah, I, the I, D20. I, I know, I have, we have one. It's the D2020. Yeah, that's what I mean. Why do D&D players need to eat things? Because we're all goblins deep down. I blame the dice. I mean, so yeah, the looking. dice look so yummy. <laughs> it depends on which dice, though. Not all dice look good. No, I so wouldn't eat my, like, metal dice. I want to eat my gemstone dice. I really... The, 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 there's those, I have those clear red ones that every single time I, ha- I see it, I put it in my mouth because it looks like jello. I don't even like jello. I don't like the texture of jello. But you gotta eat it. Yes, that would be consumed. Yeah, I can't even fit this one in my mouth. Not, not going not there. Not playing it. Not. Nope. Harvest script. Oh, I have one too now. I shouldn't have made that comment so quickly. Nope. Yeah, that was very trying, too close together. I'm trying real hard. Real hard. My wrist hurts because I have a. I, I was drawing a lot. What were you drawing? Poplets. Ford! No. There's too many. There's too many complicated poses, and then you gotta work on this fucking shading. And also, I, that means I have to look up references for a dick, and I don't want to do that. No, I'm not gonna say it anyway. Um. <laughs> I was drawing a fancy man. Yes. Bring it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this conversation. Cat. Have a cat. I'm just sitting here enjoying the show. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys ever do you guys ever fall into a rabbit hole of uh of like watching uh news bloopers? Yes. Yeah, it's been a while since God. I've done that. It's been a while. Um but there's one that's like an all time like best news blooper 
uh, where there's these two news anchors and they're doing a thing about cats. And this woman, she sounds like she's kind of high. <laughs> so I just cut back to her. She just lights it and then she goes, Mmm, nice pussy. <laughs> and then everyone just starts laughing. Cause yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Because she just kind of like, Mmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice Yeah. <laughs> Prime example. Exactly. Well, she was not happy about that. That is the one cat that does not like. <laughs> yeah, you pick you her up all the like time. I do. <laughs> Keisha, Keisha likes cuddles and all that, but she doesn't like being picked up. Ah, uh, yeah. I have. Um, you guys, want to hear a fun story time? Yeah. Let's do it. So, um, really quickly, um, this happened literally today. Oh no. Already. Two hour two hours ago in fifteen minutes. Already. So I am not at work supposed to receive deliveries after five o'clock. Oh no. Okay. For obvious reasons. Yeah. Like it's just our back doors, not allowed to open. Also my battery is at only six percent because my phone didn't charge last night. Oh good. Uh so at six thirty that came to my door. Oh dear. Oh, that pallet, for people's reference, is five feet tall and is sideways. Oh, no. It was seven feet tall. That was after we took the t first two feet off. Oh, dear. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, the truck driver came. He said he had another delivery. I'm like, I'll take it because okay. our normal delivery service is on strike. So I'm getting very little deliveries. Yeah. So I'm taking what I get. And I did explain to him, like, I'm not allowed to open after five. Technically, he's like, oh, I wasn't told. He was being honest. Like, I didn't know I wasn't told. But please, can we get this out of my truck? <laughs> I come and look at it, and I'm like, oh. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. oh. <laughs> and he's like, do you have a spare pallet? Because he was going to planning on taking half of it apart, putting on the spare pallet, and then taking them in in twos, mm. which is what we ended up yeah. doing. But he also was like, do you have a guy to help me? And I'm like, I have me to help you. <laughs> I am the strongest person left in the building right now. He's like, what? And I'm like, yep. <laughs> yeah. I did come and help him. I took my vest off and I came into the truck and helped him. Yeah. And then I let him, when we got to like five feet, I let him struggle trying to, we, we, we literally took the five foot skid and just pushed it back onto the pallet. <laughs> 90 degrees up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Yeah, so I, I watched him struggle for a few moments, and then I went to go help him push. Yeah. <laughs> you decided to use your, your, your strange mutant strength, and uh... I, I I did use my strange mutant strength, and it moved as soon as I started of course, pushing. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I was smart though, because I think at one point I went parallel in the truck, because I was just kind of walking on the wall of the truck, just pushing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's just surprising to me. Yeah. Mutant strength. Kira, what are we gonna do with you? Not die. Become the new queen of England. You'd have but to. You'd have to marry Charles. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. You'd have to marry Charles. Not necessarily. Like... No, I well, wouldn't. Like... Because Charles, Charles is like in the grave and has been in for like fifteen I mean, this is years. Okay, you'd have to marry Richard. They're both married. Um, William. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're both married. You are both married. So you'd have to kill or someone. Yeah. You basically Just you would have to kill the rest of them. Well, okay, yeah. I mean, at that point, it would just become a democracy again. Like at this point, at this point in society, again. Again. Yeah, I don't it's, know why it's I said the again. England did. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know why I said it again. No, like at this day and age, you don't conquer a place and become a king. You conquer a place and become a war. That would be honestly an ironically fitting end for the British monarchy. It's just it a be. random Canadian just comes <laughs> over and just <laughs> reduces I mean, it to ash. No, see, see, the plan is just walk up to the throne, just throw Charles out, sit down, and say, I'm queen now. <laughs> this is a 
Who's weird gonna stop me? Yeah, just, just go the, full. The, the, uh, the people with the who would stop you? The people with the hats that aren't allowed to smile. Go full Captain I mean, Phillips yes, on it. He's like, I am would. the queen now. Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you what do you think this is? Game of Thrones? I mean, granted. No, I'm not fucking my brother. Yeah. What about your? What about your? No, it's Snappy. all bad. It's aunt, yeah. It's all bad. It's all bad. It's, it's all bad. It's all it's bad. All, and I'm not doing any of those. You know what's funny? The, I, I do remember that like, one of the funniest things about Game of Thrones is that like the incest couple, Jamie and Cersei, last for like... I think they last... Spoiler yeah. alert for Game of Thrones. Oh, it's, you, it's way too fucking reason. long now. It's if you haven't seen it, you haven't seen it, but you know uh, it. But Jamie and Cersei literally last from the first episode to the second to last episode yeah. of the series. Yeah. So they are they are they are a thing for a long time. Many They're years. the most consistent the relationship in that show. They kind of are. <laughs> and it's horrifying. <laughs> like even when he like you think he's left her, he's like, Well fuck, I gotta go back so she doesn't get nuked and then they just both get nuked. Yeah. I mean Circle. I mean, this is true, but like, it is, it, it, but they're on screen for so long, you kind of end up after a while forgetting that they're brother and sister, and you're just I like, know. oh, look, it's just a, 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 it's a relationship, no, okay. No, you don't. I mean, you don't really, but like. You really don't. It's almost, you, you almost, it almost becomes like a Stockholm Syndrome thing, where it's just like, you, there's so many horrible things, this honestly doesn't even seem that weird anymore, even though it's very weird. And you know, it's even yeah. worse when, like, the kids die as well, because, like, the first one, there's, like, oh, it's all very, like, woeful and, and all that jazz. There's, like, there's still a second one, which, is, like, there's a second one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but even then, it's, like, common. after after the second one dies, and it's, like... I, I can't remember what the fuck his name was. It's been too I long now. I think it would be the, the, the Well, daughter. it's Joffrey, Tommen, and Marcella. Yeah, but uh, Marcella, di- it's Joffrey dies and Marcella dies. And well, I think, I think he's referring specifically to the second son. Oh, yeah, the, the second, second son. Time, yes. Sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah. I completely yeah. forgot there was a third. Jesus Christ. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's like, even even they, after, like, well, the death of the second son... And Cersei is just like, well, we'll just make another one. It's fine. Like, right there in front of the goddamn casket. Yeah, and just like, girl, you gotta chill. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, to be fair, it, it was Jamie. Not I can't remember. It's it's it's, it's all but, fuzzy. But, like, that, that's the thing, though. Is, like, royal families had hard families for that, like, because, A, birth, uh, or mortality rate for infants were shit. Um, to the point where, like, yeah, you know, you you just reuse names, it's fine. Um, but also, like, yeah, you gotta have a contingency and plan for when your first five kids die. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was a high probability. I have a really weird... <laughs> my brain is broken and I have a weird question. Uh-oh. I might have no, this is, you gotta remember. I've technically never watched Game of Thrones. Oh, Games. okay, oh, okay. Oh, right. No, you haven't. But, but I know parts of it. Yeah. And I know parts of House of Dragon. Right. So, you think if the incest twins, if their kids lived, would their kids also be incest? If if George or if if, um, if the author let them live, no, because you think that no. would happen? No, because those kids, um, two of them had love interests. Well, love interests. Well, yeah, because they were Joffrey. Joffrey dies being married to someone who's not related to him, and also like at and that Tommen point was in love. Yeah, and that point also in the story, like in House of the Dragons, like because of the whole the, 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 the Targaryen family is in power, so incest is just kind of the norm. It's like the whole you know it, Whereas, you keep it in the family, to yeah, keep the blood, because they're specifically with the whole thing with the Targaryens. Is that they are? Um, it's it's that they, they are the last. Like, there's only like two families left, basically, from Galeria, which is like this old High Kingdom uh, thing. So it's a more of a. It's less about we love our family because we love our family. It's more of a we are the last of this specific race of people. So we've got to keep interbreeding to keep that bloodline going without mixing it as much. 
Okay. I only wanted the one answer of yeah. the incest twins' children would not yeah. be Yeah, in that regard... Uh, Probably no, not they, because there's a lot of other people to go around. Yeah, and also, like, yeah. at that point, in, in the show... There was like, a lot of other people to go around between the two of them, too, but that didn't no, stop them. Well, well, yeah, but those, those two are just fucked. Those yeah. two, yeah, those two are fucked. Those two are just fucked. Exactly. Yeah. Well, they fucked each other. Well, that too. So, it's short like, answer... Yeah, it's a product no. of bad parents. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I had random too much knowledge there. So no, no, no. I, I was gonna try and segue and it didn't work. So uh, lines, lines. <laughs> Devin forgot his line. You did forget his lines. I did forget my lines. Except so let's I give did. us some lines you remember. Uh, I mean, I do have. I did have lines prepared. So. Devin, De- yeah. Devin didn't get the segue I no, made about yeah, his failed Devin, segue. Yeah, Devin didn't get the joke. Nope. Because, you know, after yelling lines. Oh, no, I got that. And then Devin forgot his lines. Yeah. Because you're the actor. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, moving on. Moving on. Uh, beans? Beans. Beans. Uh, beans. I got some toe beans. Zoom in on those beans. Oh, crap. Don't make me zoom. <laughs> <laughs> They're right here in my hand. It's not going to... Oh, I got bit. It's not going to turn out good. I'll do what I can. <laughs> so, we got our first song from the Canada Top 100. Uh, I don't even have my spreadsheet. Wow. Oh, and for reference... And Devin's the one that's I... not prepared. Ah. Uh, for reference... My spreadsheet's open now. <laughs> for reference, I cannot repeat the chorus of this song because it's basically just the name of the song over and over and over again. I always end up okay. picking those songs. I don't know why. Um, Sounds like it's going to be a pop song then. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, so, our first verse. Oh, this is a weird song. Color me your color, baby. Color me your color. Oh. Color me your color, darling. I know who you are. This is heart. Not fair. It's not heart. No? No. Oh. No, no it's not it's, it's, it's not it's not. It's oh crappity crap. Okay, um. What year was this? It was like 70s or something. Uh, 1980. 80, yeah. <sighs> Isn't the song name like Call Me or something? Ah! <laughs> okay, so there that's the go. song name. I just need to figure out who it is. <laughs> who is it? Damn it. Oh, I so thought it was Heart. Shit. Uh. Uh. I don't, this doesn't sound familiar at all. You would know the song if you Oh, uh, Pat Benatar? No. Damn it. What is the band or singer's origin? Uh, Where is they from? Good question. It is a good question, that's why I asked it. Uh, uh, they're from, they're, they're from the U.S. We all said heart and barracuda, and now that's all that's going through my head is ah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm I'm like singing the song in my head. I know exactly how it goes. I heard it the other day, but god damn it, could not for the life of me remember who the goddamn sings it. Who the goddamn sings it? Who the goddamn sings it? Who the goddamn sings it? Um. You want a goldfish? Frickety frick. I don't think they sing it. <laughs> I don't remember 80s bands right now. Like at all. Oh, God. I'm trying to think of female-fronted bands now. My brain just keeps thinking Stevie Nicks and, like, she has a band. It's not Fleetwood Mac. Thank no. you. I couldn't remember the name of the band. No. I could only remember Stevie Nicks. Uh, um, That's the wrong genre. I'm kind of anyway. just... I'm just drawing a blank on everything right now. That's why I've just decided yeah. to eat goldfish. Same. Oh my god. god. Whenever, I... whenever, whenever Devin does it, it's always a, it's always a McBride game to gold <laughs> Oh, what? I have good taste. Okay, so it's not her. 
I can do usually this, but my brain's just going today. Um, um, um. And this is in the top 100? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I believe it. 19, 1980. Yeah. I believe See, it. You must be using a different list because Kira only gave me a list that, gave, that went back to 2008. There is there, there's yeah. an older one. You, you have to find it. You didn't it. give me that one. Well, you've got to find it just It's because it's... That's because I can't link it because it's through the Canadian Archives. It won't let me link it. You couldn't link me to the Canadian Archives? <laughs> nope. That's right. the timer. Really yeah, it. that was indeed Call Me by the band Blondie. Oh, Blondie. Fucking right. Blondie! God damn it. <laughs> Forgot about that. I'm gonna get you, get you, get yeah. you, get you one yeah. way yeah. or another. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why even I face palm. Like, oh, yeah, I was like, no, there's a specific Blondie song, like I couldn't think of what it was. Yeah. One way or another. I didn't think they were the pure 80s. I thought they were like 82 is when they started getting big. Well, I don't know. That's, that's two years. Two years in the 80s is still a long time. Yeah. So. Two uh, years in general is a long time. On to our Oops, your song. Watch Chris get this yeah. immediately. Now, this is also one where they say the name of the song a bunch of times, so I have to skip. So you'll have to come up with like a second right. chorus, so there's something else to use for the chorus instead. We didn't ask for that because we had the song. <laughs> <laughs> so. You're the reason why I love you so. I don't want you to go. You're the girl who makes me feel so good. Why, why do I Yeah, why song? is that familiar? What year was this? Uh, 1982. Another old one. Alright. I literally just said 82. You did? Is it Blondie again? <laughs> Not Blondie again. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can you repeat is it, it? Heart? Uh, keep in mind that, well, I'm quoting there is one verse before that, which is the name of the song. Or one line before I don't that. care, repeat it. Right. One line. Uh... You're the reason why I love you so. I don't want you to go. You're the girl who makes me feel so good. Is it Brian Adams? Is it Brian Adams? It's not Brian Adams. No, it's not Brian Adams. He would be in the top 100. Where are they from? Uh, America. 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 All right. America. 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 Uh, Detroit, Michigan. Too. Detroit. Okay. So Detroit. Oh. Um, is it a Detroit. band or a single artist? It's a. Uh, it's a band. Okay. It's, is it technically the same for not horse? I guess yeah, like second verse or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, you brighten up my day. It's impossible for me to stay away. Lately hazy, girl, I'm going round. I want you to know how much I love you so. Yeah. I'm just gonna throw old ass bands out, shot in the dark. Um, Chilliwack. <laughs> No, it's not. Uh, Snow Patrol? No, they're the 90s. Which one did you say? No, I was, I was thinking, I said Snow Patrol, oh. but my brain wanted Savage Garden. Oh. <laughs> and then I said, no, they're uh, the 90s. Blue Oyster Cult? Uh, no. Uh, Twisted Sisters? No. Nah. You got, I'm throwing yeah. things out that were in the totally 80s. Totally wrong style. Uh, it's Motley Crue. I don't know. No, they're LA. It's not, no. Motley. It's no. not Motley Crue. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stumped. Because no, like, I feel like I know this. <laughs> You'd be. I agree. Because I was also like, yeah. I know this. Admittedly, the this is all. This is a song I have never heard of, which is not a surprise. I don't know most of <laughs> so. I know very. I know some older music, but not a lot. 
Time. Time? Time. Okay, so the song is Cutie Pie by One Way. I've not heard of either of those things. I know the song Cutie Pie. <laughs> Do you? I know it because they remixed it for a rave song. Ah, uh, that sounds about right. Wait. <laughs> Maybe yeah, you probably know the rave version. Maybe. Who knows? So, shall we move on to our film? Let's do it. Hit me. Hit me. This is yeah. I'm curious. This is film. Probably you guys have seen, but I'm not sure. All right. Um. So, uh, the quote is. We used to look up at the sky and wonder at our place in the stars. Now we just look down and worry about our place in the dirt. Oh, that is this don't look up? It is not. Okay. Don't look up, although, no, it's not. Understandable why you. Want yeah. To okay. I was like, I just watched that recently. No. Okay. Really quick question: Is this a Disney movie? Uh, no. How old is this movie? Uh, this movie came out in 2014. Okay, so it's not that old. Is it an animated film or live action? Uh, live action. Can I hear the line again? John? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we used to look up at the sky and wonder at our place in the stars. Now we just look down and worry about our place in the dirt. My brain wants to say holes and I know it's Yeah, wrong. that wasn't 2014. Not, that was before 2014. I know, that's why I was like, I know it's wrong. But my is this a Marvel this. movie? Uh, no, it is not. Okay. No, because it it's not it, Disney. Yeah, and also, if oh, it was yeah. a Marvel movie, the only movie that came up by Marvel in 2014, I think, was Avengers. No, actually, in 2014, that was actually... Oh, no, Avengers uh, was 2012. That was Winter Soldier and Very Good Outfit. Right. Uh, it's not what I was thinking regardless. <laughs> um, What's the genre of the movie? Uh, Definitely sci-fi. Who are the actors? How about we ask that, that important person that people have uh, yes. Uh, so this movie's got uh, Matthew McConaughey, uh, Jessica Chastain. And Interstellar. Uh, and half. Yeah. See? I was like, <laughs> what? Ask the actual question that gets you the shit. <laughs> you said the line, I didn't, I didn't watch Interstellar. Oh, God. I oh. barely remember their names. But I feel like it was... I feel like it was Matthew McConaughey's daughter who says the line. But you gotta remember the name of the character. Oh, it is not uh, McConaughey's daughter. Right? Which means it's Matthew it McConaughey. Means Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. Yes. Because <laughs> you, I was you, like, oh, you were yes, already oh, not wrong. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh shit. Fuck, what was his name? Oh crap. To be fair, does anybody like nobody who talks about Interstellar is like, oh yes, remember the names of the characters? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah. I've well, never I, seen Interstellar. That's why I say that's that's why I thought it was the daughter's name because I remember the daughter's name was Murphy. Murph. Uh, yes, that is true. Ah. Like, uh, Boone. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got the double O part right. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, uh, what? I don't know. Raccoon? Uh. Strangely close? Huh? Really close? Time. No. Okay. Alright, well, that's time. Uh, time. So, yeah, that was from Interstellar. Uh, Matthew McConaughey's character's name was apparently Cooper. Cooper. Oh. Right, okay. Yeah, you I mean, like, Cody's uh, brother? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Dang. Yeah, I don't think I ever watched Interstellar. It's a good movie. But it is a good one. It's, it's a trippy one. It's a yeah, it's a trippy one. But m pretty much m most things by Christopher Nolan are. I mean, are true. Yeah, I was like, I was about to say, like, isn't that a Christopher Nolan movie? Yes, it is a Christopher Nolan movie. Oh, do we want another really funny Ooh, story yeah, time here? Yes. 
So I, if any of you notice and are watching the video, which you should because yes. there are many cats. There are puppers, many there cats. are cats. Or, there are many puppers, especially at the beginning <laughs> of the video. Um, so I'm wearing the wrong headphones. Yeah, wait, hold These on. Headphones, these headphones are about 10 years Iraq, old. Ironically enough, like, I saw them on you and I'm just like, right, those are the ones you always used to wear whenever you would come over. But it just, it just, wait, it yeah, just never clued these... in. It's just like, right, that's not what you wear. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, hold on. These are my traveling now that you headphones. I'm like, oh yeah, wait, hold on. Those are that you, you just asked me for. You, you just, oh, well, that's a problem. <laughs> so I'm pretty I sure the left ear isn't wireless. <laughs> oh no, they're both wired. Oh, so God. literally, it works. I just have to hold it. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> They work because they're wired like that. Paper. I tried. Ah. I even tried super glue, but because of the nubbin that fell off, there's just nothing to tape there. Mm. So they sit on the arm of my chair normally, and I went to pick them up, and it just went. Ah, uh, that'll do it. I was like, no, like it was in my hand because I plucked it up from here, and it just went. <laughs> boop. Like, yeah, I had a pair of headphones that were like, it, you, the set, center part was it was normally glued together, and then it just started splitting. Uh, which meant that this part came off and was barely connected by wires and it would just be like, pop. Yeah, look at that. Look how destroyed yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. How old are those headphones? This, these, ones are, these ones are worse. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've had, I've yeah, had so these ones for... Them, like, you asked me for a link to where I bought these headphones. I did. Yeah, I've had these ones for a long so, like, time. I might as well go wireless. Which apparently I don't hear yeah, things uh, in these ones that I should, so I'm just like, oh, I should probably get some new ones. I've been having an annoying yeah. problem with these headphones. I think it's more of a setting with uh, my phone right yeah, now. Yeah, I feel like that's probably what it is then. Because, so, cause, okay, so here's a weird thing that's been happening, right? My headphones will be connected through Bluetooth listening to like, a video. I get a call. The call. Distort the audio briefly because it's letting you know, hey, your phone is ringing. I answer the call, I can talk to the phone, whatever, ha whatever happens, like, you, you can talk to using the microphone to you. Hmm. Or you can hang up the phone, either way it works. I go back to my video. Suddenly, it's connected. There's no audio. Mm -hmm. And I gotta restart my phone. So when my mother oh. calls me, it's relevant in the middle of the video. It's very annoying. <laughs> Yeah. Or telemarketer yes, calls no. while I'm listening to music on my way to work. <laughs> oh yeah. Gotta love those ones. Especially if you like get a random call that you that you don't even know when you got the call. You just like go to listen to music like on your break or something like that, and like halfway through your tip you've gotten a call, and so all of a sudden you're just like, why isn't my headphones working? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. No. Or, you know, you, Hi. you reset your phone because you think the issue's happened again. It's like, actually, no, your volume is just off. <laughs> I mean, that too. That's also happens. That's very true. So, yeah, I oh. feel like there's a setting in my phone that I, stop, that I stopped with by accident, and now i got to deal with it. Yeah. Well, we have we have a cute cat story as well. Oh, cute cat story. All right. I was going to say, I was going to segue from phones, but yes, cat story first. Oh, no, no. Cat oh, story you want first. the cat story? <laughs> um. So I have to sleep on the couch because right. everyone's on vacation, and Peach cannot handle sleeping in the room by herself. She's got to be in the room it's where just, it happens. She's got to be in the room where it happens because she's a scaredy cat. So the one day I slept in my room with the door closed, Aww. she freaked out and was shaking Aww, the next day. Poor Aww. thing. And if I take her in the bedroom, I have to take all the doors. Of course. Which means there's no bed. Which means, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I slept. I've been sleeping on the couch. I am allergic to cats. Yeah. So this one, um, originally the first night, she slept at my feet, and that was okay. She never left the couch. Every time I woke up sometime in the night, she was on the couch somewhere, either on my feet or at, on the armrest mm. above my head. Last night, though, she decided there was this alcove between my pillow, because I've got an L-shaped pillow, uh. and my stomach, and she would sleep on, on the blanket right yep. there. Yep. If I moved, if, if I moved... She got up for a second, looked at me in disdain, <laughs> and then went back to that spot. Yeah. Oh, no. So, yes, I woke up, and I felt like I was dying. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. But 
She's being cute. And as soon as I put my banky on the, be- on the couch, she's oh. like, oh, it's CP time. It's time for yeah. cuddles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think she just like Boomy. I think she just likes my blanket. Yeah. <laughs> I, will wake up, like, Boomy, I will wake up and Boomy just flop on my chest and like my my phone alarm will go off and he'll just freak out and like try and shut it off because it's cuddle time. Yes. Yeah. Uh disadvantage. Allergic yeah. to the cat. <laughs> Not allergic yeah. to the cat. No, I'm allergic to the cat. Oh, you are too? I'm, I'm allergic to cats. I'm allergic to life. Ah. Uh. Yeah, Yeah, but now I have a cute one about cats, so so I'm going to talk about that one first. So, (laughs) yes. (laughs) So, ever since we brought Aurora home, the cat has gone through different stages of stages of grief grief and then all of that jazz. So at first he was pissed off because he's like, "What the fuck is this thing in my house?" And now he's like, he hasn't got to the acceptance part. But the part that he's at now is the needy clingy part. Denial. <laughs> so <laughs> that's worse. So, um, to the dog or to you? No, to me. And um, I, I was, I was, I was laying in bed one night. I think it was sometime last week. And like usually, he'll he'll come up on the bed and he'll sleep between my legs. That's usually how it goes. And and we we have an agreement and we signed and we got a notary and that's how it works. But this time, this one time in particular, he decided, just, like, I had the slightest, br- like, space between my arm and my body. And he, c- he comes right up. I can feel him stepping on my arm because he's a heavy boy. And I'm just like, oh, cool. I guess my arm's falling asleep now. That's nice. Mm-hmm. And so he steps on there, gets himself comfy. And then uh, all, I fear is, all I feel is just a big f- flop against my side. And I'm just like... He's never done this before. This is adorable. <laughs> mm-hmm. But at the same time, yeah. it was like 20 minutes later, it's like, okay, you're getting really warm and I need to adjust, but I don't want to move because it's extremely adorable. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I have that where like, like uh, both cats will decide generally more often than not when we, uh, when we go to bed. Uh, since I tend to, I tend to manspread a little bit while I'm in bed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll go over here and I'm just like, Ooh, I will just huddle close to the edge. <laughs> Good luck trying to steal the fucking blanket. That's why you just lie yeah. on top. No, that's what he does, and then oh, I can't Christ. get any of the blankets. I don't also, lie on top, top of the No, on top of the blanket. Oh, yeah. Also, no, but you might as well <coughs> like reach over, like your arms over here. Like, can I please have my pillow back, sir? <laughs> no. Um, A peek into the couple's bedroom. But basically, just us, me, splayed out, and you. Just starfish. <laughs> Not quite. Three yeah. But the thing is, I, when I starfish like that, boom. Either Boomy or Kiki. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Boomy or Kiki will That's just smart. decide, I'm going to nestle between my legs. Ah, yes. Yeah, so of course, there's even less space for me. Yeah, because I can't then move my legs back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I won't smother the cat. <laughs> you can if you weren't a coward. No, I would never smell like that. No, I meant move your legs. <laughs> oh. But you definitely would consider smothering your partner who you own part of a house. Oh, with. well, that's 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 snore. without question. Huh. I do snore. <laughs> I do too, but apparently it's an endearing what? thing. What? <laughs> what? No. What? Nothing. What? You know, if you die, you can't do things. That is by no means how this works. <laughs> I, it kind of is. Actually, um, <laughs> oh, wait, actually, that works. Oh, that is shit. kind of how it works. Kind of is how oh. it works. Don't worry, I, I had a scary day of my mother oh, might sweet die. Oh, Jesus, what, what happened? Oh! oh. They're they're in Mexico and that's where the earthquake was. Oh, oh. 
Wait, they were in the earthquake. Yes, there was an there's earthquake. A, there's a 7.4. Oh, earthquake or something right in Mexico, oh, right where Christ. she was. Your mother took a great time to go on vacation. So it was the four of them: my mom, my dad, and my two uncles. The cool one. So I'm stuck in the house here. Four, four of them. And I said the cool one. Both of them. <laughs> I can't remember which one's the, the cool, cool one. The cool, the cool, the cool one, and the not cool one. I don't know. You only ever talk to the one cool one. That's because he's the one that literally will walk down here ah, and talk with. Sorry. Yeah, he's the cool one. Yeah, the cool one. Um, the cool one that's currently laughing at me because I get to sit. With <laughs> of course. Do you guys? Dementia is not a joke, folks. <laughs> this was this was back before I think either McBride or Chris came into our social circle, but I recall do you guys remember um, I think was it Hawaii that got like uh, there was a nuke scare oh yeah I remember that, Wasn't that in Japan? Hawaii no it no, was no, Hawaii, you're yeah. Hawaii. No, you're, thinking, you're thinking of the nuclear uh, reaction yeah. reactor after, yeah. after Fukushima yeah that's what I'm thinking of oh yeah but like yeah there was there was a very real fear for about half a day. Oh, yeah. yeah I, I remember that. that. Yeah. Hawaii was just going to get nuked. Yeah. What was that about again? I think it was just I don't a, remember what that was about. a mistake. There was just yeah. yeah. Somebody press a button. Yeah. Or yeah. So I, I, um, I, I watched a video about this recently, actually. So what it was, it was like somebody, they were doing like a test for that day and somebody clicked the wrong button that day and said it was like instead of the test button, it was. There's a fucking nuke coming. Prepare for your lives, type of thing. <laughs> Which apparently oh, those buttons are side by side. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's kind of funny. I bet you they're not side you, by side. Oh, anymore. I should hope imagine. Not. <laughs> just for a second, like what if you hit the test button by accident when there was exactly. An actual nuke? <laughs> That's a much better off alternative than the other option. No, it's not. No, if you hit the test button when there's an actual new coming, then nobody reacts. I mean, either way, to be and everybody either dies. way, to be it's, fair, it's an island. They're not gonna get far. Whether it, yeah, whether well, it's a test or a real bunkers. thing, like they're they're fucked. Yeah. No bunkers. No, my, my, my point. Oh wait, no, no, no. Hawaii with the volcanoes, yeah. yeah. they're dead. No, they're screwed. Oh. Yeah. Even with bunkers. Yeah. yeah. McBride has a point. Yeah. There's too many. They they're dead uh, anyway. Now this, of course, going uh, going back, uh, we had a friend who decided of all the times to vacation to Hawaii. Hey, you were telling us. You, I think you mentioned that before. Yeah. Oh, no. It was the straight. It, and because we knew, it was uh, it was Jade. Jade oh, went to Hawaii. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I, we we and oh, yeah. we were, I, I knew that Jade was in Hawaii, so suddenly hearing, "Oh, Hawaii's about to get nuked," and one of our close friends yeah, is on you there. You mentioned that you couldn't get a hold of her or something, right? Well, no, she was in Hawaii. Could have. Um, and Jade. This was before the internet was really big, even. Like oh, was we so didn't big. use the internet to. We didn't use it to yeah, communicate as yeah. much. Oh, it's true. I guess we didn't. Also, it's like it's Jade. You can never get a hold of her. For- no, you back in the day. You yeah, text Jade, you get a reply immediately. Yeah. Um, I'm the horrible person. That yeah, Kira was bad. You were so bad. And then I mentioned D and D, and you became accessible. <laughs> yeah, basically, you became accessible as soon as Chris came into my life. I mentioned, but you D&D. also got to think when Chris, 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 Chris came into your life is when we moved from everything moved to Discord. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, um, no, no, we all I started no, using because, Discord. No, that's not true because I messaged you on Facebook. Yeah. yeah, but no, everything started moving to Discord. It took it took a couple months before everything started moving to Discord. Yeah. And I already did I I was trying to get better in that time anyway. Yeah, it, it just happened. I was you, actually you trying. Because I and I we talked about this before, but I actively remember you being like, Oh, you won't get a like you can message Kira, but you won't get a response for like yeah. three weeks and I got one like later that day or the next day or something I'm like With it within twenty four yeah, hours. Yeah, within twenty four hours I was, was like a- I got a response from Kira. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. So you're, you're, you're so shocked. I'm like, all I did was mention D&D. You summoned a god. I did, I did it. How did you do it? I'm a cleric. That's how. Oh, dear. Yeah. Divine no, the deer's right here. Oh, right, yes. Female deer? Oh. 
Oh boy. Are we playing who's on first? What is this? Oh, 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 don't, no, no, we're not playing that game. Leg. 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 Beans. There's, There's all the beans. beans. There we go. <sighs> Perfect. Beans. Covering ah, the well. shot as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a sacrifice. It's supposed to be shot. The restraint I had there. The restraint. You don't even know. <laughs> oh, I of all people do know very well. Yeah, I can never talk about Lindsay Barnabas on air anymore. They sound the same now. No, that's, There's a flourish on Barnabas. That's, yeah, that's an air. Yeah, because it's like, wait, why is Son- Because I'm like, that sounded like Sonair, I'm like, why is Sonair here? That's a Barnabas moment. Go the fuck away. Because it wasn't a Barnabas moment, it was a fear moment. It was a moment to incite fear. And it didn't work. All I heard- all I heard was George Takei. Sonair has no power over us now. (laughs) 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 Oh my. Oh my. My. My arm is in. My. Please stop I'm scratching you. your arm with the scissors. No. Stop scratching your arm with the sharp blade. I'm doing the side. PSA. Don't play with scissors. Do not. Do not scratch your body parts with sharp objects. Please don't. Use literally, literally anything, anything else. else. This is sharp, therefore it gets the itch. God damn it. If you smash yourself with sharp objects, people. It, one sec, I can't open this because I closed it earlier. Fuck. The tiniest knife on my desk I have chosen. I will come at you with sharp objects. It'll get the itch. It'll get more than the itch, folks. You'll die. Yes. You seem to under... Okay, I would like to make the point that I was once on a medication that made me so unbearably itchy that I would literally take scissors and knives and scratch it and I'd still be bleeding and I'd still be scratching. Folks, please do not do that. Yeah, I think I was allergic to that medication. Yeah. Yeah. But also, don't scratch yourselves with sharp objects. Yeah, don't do what I do. I'm an idiot. So stop it. No. Yes. Make me. I will, I will child block your scissors away. I thought so. Put them down. I'll get a determinator. That'll work too. Is, I don't know what that the means. The moment you said make me, I'm like, oh, this didn't become about the scissors anymore. <laughs> Godzilla yeah. and King Kong, what are you doing back Excuse there? Excuse me? Fighting. Most likely. Yeah, the, my, my, my cat is down here on the floor and they were fighting uh. behind the chair. <laughs> <laughs> the audio might have actually picked that up. It's just a. Bah, bah, Probably. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Uh, I think yeah. we should probably wrap it up. Yeah, yeah let's do it. We did it. We did it. I wish to eat. Did oh, yeah, you Those two want to eat. I also need to eat before I go to bed, because I also work tomorrow. Please tell me you've eaten. Please tell me you've eaten. If you have to think this hard on whether or not you've eaten, mm-hmm. you probably haven't eaten. I Second have PSA. Make sure Thank you eat, thoughts. folks. Babe. I have to thought. Yeah, and unless you are on medication or have Babe. some kind of you had those thing where you have to fast. Even then, most mo- yeah, most medication requires you to you eat ate. after oh, you've no, taken no, it. Okay. Subway. I had subway. Well, I meant more uh, like there's some medication you have to take, and then you can't oh, eat for like three hours, or you have to take yes, it and then fast true. for that 24 hours. Yeah, that so. is true. Or surgeries. So unless you have a reason. That you need to fast yeah, for listen, surgery or I medication. Yeah. Please eat disaster. something. Don't, don't do what I do. This is not an example. Yeah, I'm a bad example. I'm an example of what not to do. They are currently rubbing a pair of scissors down, up and down their leg. <laughs> there are other things. Look like what? Nails? Get. I don't have. Look at these fuckers. It'll do. No, it won't. Kira, for God's sakes, take us out before this dissolves any further. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed episode 130 and the millions of PSAs at the end of the episode for no god dang reason. I almost broke my glasses by throwing them on my desk. Don't you, um, there's another PSA. Don't throw your glasses. Do not throw your glasses, especially if they're expensive ones. Um, many PSAs. So uh, don't forget to like this episode. Give it a big old lick. Very tasty, I promise. Go back and watch some of the previous episodes. There's an episode about puppies. I haven't even heard it yet because I wasn't way. Don't actually lick. Well, no. Lick your screen if you have cleaned it and you know it is like okay to lick. Then you can lick your screen. Don't do it forcefully or you ruin the LEDs. But please, and then go check out JKT Gaming. There's lots of Zorla. Zorla got popular. Yep. There's lots of Pokemon. Pokemon is always Pokemon. We're still Godspeed, Boombox. <laughs> we love you. Um, and on that note, I hope you all enjoyed episode 130 of the JKT Radio Podcast. Bye. Bye. We miss you, Boombox. My arm is now warm.